assalamu alaikum student in this uh, presentation we are going to learn about uh, coefficient of volume expansion as you know the density of a fluid in general depends more strongly on temperature than it does on pressure and in everyday example you see this for example blowing of wind Although the pressure is almost constant and there is very little change in pressure, but the wind blows because of the difference in temperature. Now the variation of the density of a fluid with temperature at constant pressure can be quantified using the coefficient of volume expansion. We have beta and it is represented by beta which is 1 over V node dv over dt at a constant pressure now this can this expression can also be written as in terms of density which is negative 1 over rho d rho over dt at constant pressure i will not go into details that how we get this expression just a reminder that we have found already that d v is basically v squared d rho with the negative sign when we substitute this expression here we get that expression oh. I can do it for you that beta is equal to 1 over V node negative so you, 1 over V negative V squared D rho over DT at constant pitch pressure we cancel out with this v then beta is negative v d rho over dt or now beta is basically negative 1 over rho d rho over dt Because for a unit mass, this V is 1 over rho to the negative side. So that's how we get coefficient of volume expansion in terms of volume and in terms of density. For finite changes, this beta becomes delta V node over V node over delta t or in terms of density it is negative delta rho over rho over delta t at constant pressure for an ideal gas beta is basically reciprocal of temperature 1 over t for an ideal gas for uh, uh, compression uh, compressibility it was uh, directly proportional to pressure and here it is inversely proportional to temperature and it is 1 over T and how do we get this expression the same way if you remember for ideal gas law P V is equal to R T At constant pressure dv over dt at constant pressure is going to be r over p
Now you know again for mitral gas law P is equal to rho R T R cancels out with R and dV over D T at constant pressure becomes V over T. Is it clear? I just erase this part now. Now, beta was one over v dv over dt at constant pressure which is basically equal to 1 over V times V over T. V cancels out with V and beta becomes 1 over T for an ideal gas. For finite changes, beta is basically this delta rho over rho over delta t and delta rho is a change in density which is basically uh, final density minus uh, uh, or you can say it is rho 2 minus rho 1 over rho t2 minus t1 now for this t2 or rho 2 we have to take this density away far far away from the area that is under consideration for example we are uh, trying to see uh, the flow over hot plate and how the density is going to vary because of the because of absorption of temperature from the hot plate this rho 2 or t2 we are going to take the density and the temperature which is far away from that hot plate so that its temperature is not going to influence the density or temperature there so that's why we just bring in this infinity sign here so for ideal gas it is rho infinity minus rho is equal to rho times beta t negative t infinity now does volume always change either at constant temperature or constant pressure i leave this question for you and you need to answer me uh, in the question and answer sessions So if we want to find out the combined effect of volume change with temperature and pressure, we just need to take partial differential of volume with respect to temperature and pressure. So when we take for example this dV is a function of pressure and temperature then the expression that we are going to get is being shown here dv over dt at constant pressure times dt plus dv over dp at constant temperature times dp now you know this dv over dt is basically beta times V.
now this dv over dp is basically 1 over k which is coefficient of compressibility just as a reminder you can see previous slides where the k was dp over dv 1 over v Now the reciprocal of coefficient of compressibility is called as alpha which is being used here. So dv becomes beta times dt negative alpha dp whole times v. For finite changes this dv becomes delta v this v goes to the other side so it becomes del v over v is equal to beta times delta t negative alpha delta p so using that expression we can find out the combined effect of uh, uh, combined effect of volume uh, volume change with temperature and pressure now if you have any questions you can ask me in the q and a session thanks a lot for your time